Hello. I was talking. I was talking to a friend who was born and raised in New York City. I was born and raised in New York City. He grew up in Queens. I grew up in the Bronx. And he was reading the headlines. This is 2023. And he was reading the headlines about the immigrant situation in New York City living on the streets. I am not political. I am just out, out of my mind. And all I said to him, that, brought, that brings back a memory. Of course, he said, what kind of memory can I bring back? Immigrants living on the streets. And I said to him, remember back in 1980? When Castro sent all those uh, so-called immigrants out of their jails to New York City. I think it was called the Miera, uh, Miera, I think it's called Miera, I can't say it correctly, boat lift. I said, remember that time? I had a good time. My name is Eric. And welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. So you may say to me, what do you mean you had a good time? How kind of good time can you have with immigrants living on the streets and the shelters? I don't know. I don't live in New York City right now. I lived in New York City back in the 60s and 70s and 80s when in the 70s when disco burst into the scene. New York City was bankrupt. So I don't know what's going on with people in New York City and the hardships they're having. But all I can say is this. History repeats itself. And back in 1980, uh, Castro sent all those Cubans who wanted to come to America on a boat. And I ran into one at Blues. Blues was pretty much a gay, I call it a gay pickup bar on 43rd, on the corner of 43rd and 8th Avenue. Oh, it was a 43rd and, sorry, 43rd and 9th Avenue. And I picked up one of those Cuban guys, you know. My Spanish was horrible. His, his English was horrible. My Spanish was horrible. So we got along well. Now you might say to me, my friend did, what makes you bring, wh why you bring that up? Why you bring that? You're always, you're always bringing stupid shit up. Oh, well, like I said, I'm not a political person. I look at things a little differently. And uh, I said to him, it's a good opportunity to get a piece. Of course, he got even angrier. I saw you think about it, sex. And then I said, what else is there to think about? So anyway, I digress. And all I wanted to say is, well, history repeats itself. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not living in New York City at the moment. But I do remember back in the 70s when New York City went bankrupt and they had graffiti all on the trains and people was getting robbed and you have to take your life in your hands if you decide to go hanging out in the village and you lived in the Bronx and you have to come home um, 12 or, or 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, mind you, New York got so poor, they, they had to shut the trains down after midnight because they couldn't afford to pay all those all, all those people. It shut down at 11, I think, o'clock at night, and you couldn't get a train to 5 o'clock in the morning. I remember those days. And anyway, there, was, there I was in blues, hanging out, my usual buying boys drinks to see who's going to come home with a big fat black guy, you know. And this guy came up to me. I bought him a drink. His, we try to communicate, but when <laughs> the, how do you say, the language of sex is the same no matter what language anybody speak. And it, nothing much happened. I mean, he was a, a good guy and I bought him something to eat. I think on 42nd Street, there was that, the Greeks, I think the Greeks had those um, uh, shish kebabs. I don't know what you call them. I brought him one of those and brought him home on the train. And I lived in, a, in Brooklyn at the time. 
And one thing led to another, and another thing led to another. And yes, I had a very good time. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying what's going on in New York City now to run out to New York City and pick up an immigrant. That's not what I'm saying. It just hit me because my friend was very, uh, I have a, well, we all go to rant, but he was on his little rant and I wasn't having it. And that's when that thought came to my head. What I did when people went on a rant back in 1980 when, when, Q, when uh, Castro did that, bringing those Cubans over here. And all I had to say was, well, it is what it is. You you know, either you, how, how, what's that saying? Either you're going to uh, beat them or join them. That's all I can say. Let's put it this way. The politicians didn't care back then. I don't think the politician cared about, care too much back now. I'm not going to get pol uh, political about the whole thing. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it. You just heard the craziness that lives inside my head. And you're just